Hi everybody, this is Miss Jennifer and today we are going to be working on our first mindfulness card. And what we want to remember when we're thinking about this concept is that sometimes we hear students say, I can't, I don't know how, I'm not good at that. But what you need to realize is your mind is always growing and that you may not be able to do it now, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it ever. So we're going to focus on the word yet. I can't do it yet, but someday I will. So this is my first attempt. And as you see, it is a girl skydiving. As I have never jumped out of an airplane, but maybe one day I will. So if um, what you want to do um, before we get started is have your colored pencils. And notice I have all of mine nice and sharpened. Whenever I get working on my artwork, I clear my space, get my materials. I also have my cards ready, some sketch paper ready. Now you can use the sketch paper in your book, a pencil, an eraser, and a pen. All right, you ready to begin? So what you want to do, first of all, is the brainstorming part. So you think about things that you can't do yet. So I already did the skydiving. And then I was thinking, I really want to start kayaking. I've done it a few times, but I want to get my own kayak. I also want to get better at yoga. I was very good at yoga before the um, coronavirus came, and now I didn't get to practice. I'm trying to learn to practice again on my own. So here's a few things. Um, what else do I want to get better? I want to get better at painting. Yes, I know, I'm an art teacher, but... I'm still trying to get better at painting. I'm pretty good at drawing. Painting needs a little work. So next step, what I want you to do is after you have your list is look up what I like to do anyway, is I look up clip art. Now clip art is simplified drawings that people use on computers. Now it's not saying I want to copy the clip art, but I want to use it as a visual reference, meaning help me to draw what it is I want to come up with. So if you look here, let me see if I can pull it over here. You can see I pulled up some clip art, a kayaking. And these are all different examples. And so I'm going to do this one. Something similar anyway, but I'm going to make it look like me. I like the way it's um, drawn and I like the expression on the person's face. So that's what I'm going to begin with. And for drawing, you basically, I usually start with the head and then I can block in the body because it's just kind of a square here. I see the um, paddle. Now remember, I'm doing the sketching just like we learned, okay? Not hard at all. And then the kayak is coming up out of the water and then it has water splashing. And that's basically it. I draw the central line of the face and I have the hands on here just like I see and here's the uh, life jacket and that's basically it she looks like she's wearing a helmet I guess you got to wear a helmet to kayak I didn't know that but I'm gonna learn right <laughs> okay there we go that's my sketch and so I am ready to move on to my card now this time, I really like the way this one came out. So I'm going to try to duplicate it in some ways. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a border. Now, when you did your um, your uh, matcha card, it had the border drawn for you. But the best way I can explain to draw a border is I'm going to use the pen. I'm going to pull straight down along the edge. Now... As long as you stay parallel to the edge, it's going to be a straight line. So you don't really need to have a ruler. And people ask me all the time, how do I draw so straight? Well, I just use the edge to help me know where to go. And I also use my arm like this, like straight up and down. Okay, so now I have my border. So that means everything is going to go in here. Now, because the cards go up and down in my book... Um, I can keep it this way and um, you see that this orientation is landscape, 
but the book goes up and down. So I can choose. I can change my orientation to this way, which means the way the picture plane faces, or I can crop this and make it fit in here, which is what I think I'm going to do. So let me see if I can put the person in the center with the paddle. So I'm just going to kind of make it fit the best I can with the water. And there we go. Sketch complete. See how easy it is once you sketch? Um, I try to be better about letting sure that you guys see what I'm doing and not putting my hand over it. I'm sorry. I'm just learning to do the videos. And um, it's not always that easy. But um, I'm going to add the word yet down here. Okay. Now I'm ready to do what? Ink. Exactly. All right. So let me... Do this real quick because my battery is going to run out of this and I want to be able to see that picture. Now you can look up the clip art on your phone or you can just draw it from your mind. It's whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, helmet on and I'm just going to work my way down and because I draw a lot I don't have to worry. I have everything set up where I know I want it to be and I'm just going to keep going and draw myself on this kayak having a great time happy so you always do want to think about facial expressions and we'll get into more of that later so i've got kind of semi long hair so i'll draw that here and now here comes my vest my hands with the fingers will hold the paddle And um, you can simplify your drawing as much as you need, okay? Because it's your um, drawing. And as long as it carries the information of what it is that you're trying to say, it doesn't really make that much difference. Because in this case, we're trying to communicate um, something that we have not learned yet, but that we want to learn. All right, so here we go. I got my paddle. I got my vest and we are going to go ahead and finish this up see so um, what you want to do is get your um, ideas down get your sketch down and then you can start coloring in um, your lines with the ink or inking is what is what we want to say and this is kind of a funny little face now here comes the splash. And so you see how I took this um, long drawing and I cut it into a shorter drawing to make it fit in the space. So you are in charge of how things fit into your area. So don't be afraid to change things as you want to. Okay, there we go. Now the only thing left, I think, is I'm going to draw a little horizon line here. And that's where the earth and sky appear to meet. So there's the horizon line. And maybe I'm going to do a cloud here. And a little sun back here. Now most students will put the sun in a corner like that. They don't. Eventually you'll outgrow that, but if you want to do it, you can. Now, what do I do next? You got it. I'm going to do the erasing. So one thing you do want to make sure is that your ink is nice and dry before you start erasing because you can smear that ink. Depending, you can use a, um, what do you call it, ink pen? Or you can use a uh, skinny Sharpie. Um, or you can even just use your black pencil if you want to. And it looks like I'm missing a line here. Sometimes when you um, erase your pencil lines, you see you're missing something, and that's fine. All right. So one thing I wanted to say real quick is that these are the colors in the color spectrum. Roy G. Biv. 
And neutral colors don't really count as part of your color scheme. That's like gray, black, white, brown. So these colors, I only want to use three of them. So I'm going to use green, blue, and probably orange. Uh, those are two of my, those are my favorite colors to use. But if I use blue, I can use dark blue and light blue. So watch this. I'm going to outline these um, in the dark blue to get that glow effect that we learned about earlier. And here we go. Th this part is going to be white. So what do I do with that? Exactly. I leave it white. Oh, let me do this. Let me take the orange and go over the um, yet. So the orange and blue are opposite colors. So it's going to really show up if I do this. Okay. So I'm going to bring the blue down and I'm going to try to move quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want you to get bored. And here we go. So if I use dark blue and then I use light blue, the truth is I'm still only using blue. I'm just using tints of shades of the same color. So that's where I, um, when people think, oh, I can only have three colors. Well, yeah, but you can use those colors in a lot of different ways. And the less color you use, the better off you'll be in terms of... Uh, and actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and make this green. Because I'm going to do the sky blue. So I got blue and green to blend together here. And that's fine. Now see how I can lightly color in this area. And it's going to start looking really neat like um, my other one I did. And notice I'm trying to color it in a nice way and eliminate the white. So that's very important. And if you're coloring water, it's good to go sideways or grass either because it makes things lie down if you color it this way. If you go up and down, it will make it look vertical, which that's not how we view the land and the water. We, we view it as laying down flat on the earth. Alright, so now look how I can blend this dark green in with the blue to go back and forth to get the color I want. Now I'm going to take the light blue and come up here in the sky. So what do you color do you think I should do this on? Yep, you got it. I'm going to repeat that orange up there in the sky for the sun. So I'm going to avoid going to that right yet. And here we go. You guys are doing great, right? So these cards are fun because, you know, coloring, you do want to take your time. And you do want to do a good job. But... It is very labor intensive. So if we have these little cards, it's very helpful to learn to just concentrate and do the best you can in that little space. So it's kind of a good uh, beginner tool for us. And I can go dark out here and then get lighter in the middle. So it looks like it's glowing. And I'm going to do the kayak orange too. So it's going to show up real good. And if you mess up and go out of the line just like that, it's okay because you know what? It is a hand-drawn object. Now, I do want to be careful to do the best I can. Now, I advise you to go a little bit slower than I am. But you're not on video. You're not on YouTube. It takes forever to upload videos. Did you know that? So, and plus we don't want you to get bored. We want you to move. We want to move quickly so that you'll understand how to do it. And have a good demonstration since I can't be there to teach you. Okay. How's that? Starting to look pretty good, huh? So I think we also need to make her... Mm, helmet. We'll do her helmet red, I mean orange. 
We'll do the paddle orange. And I'm going to take the black and put it in the back area of the canoe. So remember, black is not a color. Looks like I need to put it here too. And there we go. The last thing I'm going to do is give a blue here on the um, life jacket. Now the life jacket probably should be orange in real life but I'm the artist so I can change it as much as I want and I just want to make sure I don't put two cl colors that are the same right next to each other because then they kind of blend in and they don't show up and last but not least where's my dark blue I'm gonna come in here with the dark blue for the jeans and the shirt and get for a neck And I really need, I just leave the hair white. I could do my skin tone pinkish by lightly coloring in like this. And there you go. So the next step would be to glue Cut out and glue your card back, your paper card back on here. Make sure to give it a title. Maybe you could call it Yet, or I could call it Kayaking. And then you just put it into your mindfulness page of your book, which for me is going to be right here. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Um, have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.